This man walked the tightrope at the top of the world's tallest building, the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City, without any protective measures. However, when the last three steps were left to reach the end, the man's feet suddenly trembled. He swayed violently along with the steel rope. Suddenly, the wire snapped. This is the film The Walk. Released in 2015, the film is based on the personal autobiography of French acrobatic artist Philippe Petty. It truly recreates Philippe Petty's amazing feat on August 7th. 1974. To this day many people still do not understand what he did. But for Felipe himself, it was the love of his life. The only way to live is to stand on a tightrope and challenge yourself. The story begins when he was 8 years old. One day, a world-class acrobatic troupe came to town to perform. Felipe was fascinated by the tightrope walking for the first time. He didn't want to leave the stage even when the show was over. From then on, he understood what it meant to dream. Since that day, Felipe began to learn to walk the tightrope on his own. After practicing day after day, year after year, the rope under his feet from the beginning of the five slowly reduced until the last rope left. Felipe also gradually discovered that he had a talent for climbing and balancing and even juggling. One day he slipped into the acrobatic troupe at night. He wanted to walk a real wire to test the results of his learning. But as soon as he took his first step, he was discovered by Rudy. The head of the troop, Felipe accidentally knocked over the prop box during his escape. He then picked up the props in the box and performed. Rudy immediately saw that Felipe had a talent for acrobatics. Felipe is one of a kind talent, so he decided to take Felipe as his disciple right away. But Felipe thought that Rudy's acrobatic troop was not the place for him because his dream was to become a real artist. But his parents thought his dream was unrealistic. They think that tightrope walking is not profitable at all. To realize his dream, Felipe came to Paris alone to pursue his dream. He supported himself by performing acrobatics on the streets. Here he meets Annie, a woman who also sings on the streets. A sudden downpour makes them fall in love with each other, who are already in competition. Felipe has an unforgettable first love. Felipe used a red wine bottle to pose as a tightrope in the restaurant and told Annie his dream is to complete the tightrope walking challenge on the tallest building in the world. People must think Felipe is crazy, but Annie is very supportive of him. She thought it was a dangerous but beautiful feat, and so she became his first companion. Annie practiced with Felipe every day. She even walked the wire with him. One day Felipe was training alone on the rope when he was noticed by a young photographer named Louis. After they talked a bit, Louis was also very interested in his crazy plan. So Louis immediately agreed to Felipe's invitation to be his official photographer. But at that moment, the rope under Felipe's feet suddenly breaks loose. Felipe fell heavily to the ground. If this is more than 400 meters in the air, Felipe must fall to pieces. He then realized that to succeed in his dream, in addition to his own skills, must be excellent. How to fix the rope is also crucial. So he approached Rudy again to ask him for advice on how to set up the rope and all the expertise about tightrope walking. Felipe has learned it a lot from Rudy, but Rudy didn't teach him for nothing. For every technique Rudy taught Felipe, he asked him to pay a bill. Whenever the acrobatic troupe was not performing, Felipe will seize the opportunity to practice on the rope. But this time, he had another accident. Afterwards, Rudy warned him, Most tightrope walkers fall off when they are near the end. Complacency is the most dangerous thing in this business. The only way to win is to finish the last three steps on the ground. To improve Felipe's mental strength, Rudy took him to the park the next day for a rehearsal. At first, everything went well. But when he reached the middle of the lake, Felipe heard the tourists on the boat laughing at him. Felipe immediately panicked. When he lost his concentration, his balance would be broken. This really made him lose face, but he still managed to pose for a few pictures to ease the awkwardness. Felipe was very reluctant, so he decided to walk the tightrope at Notre Dame to prove his ability. He sneaked into Notre Dame in the night and tied a fishing line to a juggling ball. Then he tosses the ball and throws it to Lewis who is waiting on the other tower. They connect the fishing line to the thick rope and then pull it through the thick rope. Then a steel rope can be set up between the two towers. When the first visitors arrived at the entrance of Notre Dame, de Paris, Felipe started his show. This time Felipe was not disturbed in any way. His every step was calm and steady. When he reached the center, he even got down on one knee to thank his audience. Felipe became famous. Even the Russian newspapers of the time praised him as a great artist. That's when his girlfriend Annie handed him a newspaper. Felipe learned that the two tallest buildings in the world were about to be completed. So he took Annie and flew to New York immediately. But when he arrived at his destination, 
and saw the twin towers beyond his sight. He was scared. He came to the rooftop and saw a section of steel sticking out of the wall. So he put down his backpack and stood up to overcome his fear. He tried to look down, but then a sudden gust of wind blew. If it were me, I would have gone to God. But Felipe reached out his hands and quickly kept his balance. At this moment, Felipe finally overcame his fear. Rudy knew that he was worried about his safety and suggested that he put on his seat belt. Because he was so high in the air, the audience on the ground could not see his seatbelt. But Felipe wouldn't agree. He couldn't cheat the audience and didn't want to leave any regrets. Master and disciple had their first fight. Good thing Annie was there at that moment. So he apologized to Rudy. Rudy also understood that Felipe was doing something very important. So he opened the box. He opened the box and took out an envelope from it and handed it to Felipe. Felipe finds the tuition money he used to give to Rudy. Now Rudy is helping him realize his dream. Felipe then began his demonic training. He asked Annie to shake the steel rope to simulate the high altitude environment and to exercise his balance. Lewis brought in his good friend J.P. to join the team. Together they made a bow and arrow that could shoot a long distance. So the problem of pulling the rope between the top of the tower was solved. Due to the weather, the show had to be done before the building was finished. So Felipe set the date for the show three months later, on August 6. At first, he considered applying to the government, but they rejected his request without even thinking about it. He had no choice but to do it in secret, but it was almost impossible to move the wire equipment quietly to the roof of the building. So Felipe would sneak into the building, every day dressed as a different profession to collect available data. As a journalist, he managed to get the exact distance between the two towers. However, on this day, while he was collecting data as a supervisor, he accidentally stepped on a nail. This man had to walk a tightrope on top of the tallest building in the world. But just a few days before the challenge, he accidentally stepped on a nail. Now he even had problems walking. But Felipe did not give up but became more and more courageous. The next day, he went back to the World Trade Center on crutches. While riding the elevator, he met one of his fans. Anse Zoli had seen him perform in person at Notre Dame in Paris. Anse Zoli happens to work here. Anse Zoli had access to the stairwell and the roof of the North Tower. So Felipe immediately asked him to dinner and told Anse Zoli about his plans and invited Anse Zoli to join his team. Alce Zoli immediately agreed to join Felipe's team. In order to make the plan work, Felipe found a few more partners. The day before the show, Felipe divided the team into two groups. Two of them dressed as architects with tools and hid in advance in Alce Zoli's office in the North Tower. They waited until the night to come out and set up the steel ropes, while Felipe and the others slipped into the South Tower dressed as construction workers. But plans always change. There were always accidents throughout the process, but there was no harm done. By the time they managed to get their stuff to the top of the building, it was already dark. Felipe used a pre-designed move to signal his partner across the street to shoot an arrow, but he waited five seconds and five seconds. He searched round and round and round. Felipe couldn't touch the line even after stripping naked. Finally, he found that the arrow was shot outside the guardrail. He had to climb down to get the arrows. After getting the arrows, they began to install the steel rope. But at that moment, J. D. lost his grip. The long and heavy steel rope fell downstairs quickly. When the rope was about to fall, Felipe hurriedly turned around and died. And used tools to tighten the screws. This is to fix the downward sliding steel rope. It was getting light. The time left for him was running out. Felipe could only speed up. Even J. D. who was always afraid of heights, was pulled down to help him with the screws. They finally set up the rope at dawn after a lot of hard work. At this time, he was exhausted from the night's nice work and his foot injury is still bandaged. But even so, he still like him off to the flame bravely took the first step. This man started his tightrope walk for 117 meters out of the clouds. He did not have any protective measures. He only relied on a long stick to maintain balance. People at such a height will fall to pieces if they're not careful. But Felipe was as stable on the wire as he was on a flat floor. Annie, who had been waiting on the ground all night, couldn't help but cheer for him. Soon Felipe reached the North Tower without any problems. He did it, but when he Saturday in the North Tower and looked at the South Tower, he seemed to feel that the South Tower was calling him again. So he walked back again, and this time he was much more relaxed. His footsteps were also much lighter. Halfway through the walk, he knelt on one knee again on the steel rope. The blood from the wound on his foot stained the soles of his shoes. He began to pay tribute to the rope, to the Twin Towers, to the whole city. By now the ground was packed with onlookers and the audience erupted in applause. 
Then he stood up again and continued to move forward. But at that moment, two police officers had arrived on the rooftop. They tried to persuade Felipe to get down safely. But Felipe smiled a little. Then he lifted the balance bar and turned around and headed for the North Tower. Felipe left the two policemen behind to scold him. When he reached the middle, Felipe started the challenge again. He slowly lowered the balance bar. Then he kneels on the wire. Then he stretched out his arms to salute the audience on the ground. At this moment, he felt nothing but peace and tranquility. He didn't feel any fear or danger. Just as he was approaching the North Tower, a few more police officers rushed up to the North Tower. But Felipe didn't panic at all. He even danced on the wire. Then he lifted the balance bar above his head again. Then he made a gorgeous turn and walked towards the South Tower again. But he didn't take more than a few steps. He started to show off his skills again. Felipe put down the balance bar with one foot on top of the bar. Then he crossed his arms in front of his chest and stared at the police officers. Then he walked towards the South Tower. The police officers thought he was going to the shore and tried to pull him up. But this is Felipe playing with them again. Felipe was having a blast. He walked to the middle of the wire, then he squatted down, and then the whole person lying on top of the rope to sleep. But at that moment, a white pigeon suddenly appeared. The pigeon stopped above his head and stared at him. The pigeon seemed to be asking him if he had had enough. Felipe sensed the danger and got up sharply. He was already trembling slightly on his feet. But at that moment, the wooden board holding the rope suddenly broke again. This signal of danger scared everyone. Felipe was able to stabilize his body in time. Then the police sent a helicopter to give him a final warning. It was Time to end this magnificent show. Felipe puts the balance bar on his neck. He walked towards the South Tower like a king. But at the very last moment, Felipe's feet suddenly trembled. Everyone was sweating for him. But in fact, it was just his last joke. Felipe completed this unprecedented performance in full view of everyone for violating more than 100 city ordinances. Felipe was arrested on the spot by the police since his actions did not cause any serious consequences so the judge only sentenced him to perform for children in the park as a punishment after the construction of the twin towers felipe was given a permanent pass he could return to the tower at any time to look back on his best moments